Hey guys, so I'm coming at you again with another tutorial. This time it's regarding the Spotify application. A couple days ago, I ran across an issue where my Spotify app would not load. I'll show you here on the computer. As you can see, this is the exact error that showed up on my phone. I can't replicate it now because it's fixed, but this exact same thing showed up on my phone. It said, no SD card found. We found no place to store our data. Please check that you have a working SD card and free space. So I really never had this issue before with my phone. The only changes I could tell you that I did was to, from what I remember is, I flashed a new MJE firmware to my phone, rooted it, and then I restored my applications with titanium backup. So I don't know, somewhere within that process something got corrupted or something, but that's personally what, I, what happened to me. So it could have been something in the installation and stuff. So again, for you, it might be completely different. You might not be rooted. You might not have my phone or anything. The video is really going to split three different ways. There's going to be, I'll put annotations here in the video so you can navigate quicker uh, through this video on depending on what kind of scenario you're in. So scenario one is going to be if you have a stock phone and it's not modified in any way and you have this issue. Scenario number two is if you have a customized phone and you have some type of recovery, custom recovery, that could be safe strap, clockwork mod, or something else of the like. There should be similar option, similar options in it as to what I'm going to show you today. And then the third option is if you're running exactly what I'm running. If you have a Verizon Note 3 with MJE firmware or whatever firmware and you're rooted and you have a safe strap recovery, which is what I have, then you could just follow along this, this whole video without any issues. All right, so step one, if you have this showing up on a, on a non-modified phone, then all you have to do really is try this troubleshooting guide. And this troubleshooting guide has steps one through 14. Go ahead and try all of them. And then it does split off to like C and then all these other different questions and then D. So go ahead and try all that if you have a stock phone with anything. Unfortunately, with the stock phone, you don't have any type of custom recovery, so you can't apply the, the fix, I guess you could say, that I'm gonna do with my custom recovery. So if this doesn't work for you with an unmodified phone, then I'm sorry, uh, send me a message, maybe I can try to find some fix for you, but honestly, this is where I'm going to leave you if you don't have a customized phone in any way. All right, now let's say you have a customized phone that's rooted and you have a and you have some type of custom recovery. So if you're running SafeStrap, then just follow exactly what I'm saying. If you don't have SafeStrap and you have Clockwork Mod, then I'm going to I'm going to send you off to the last part of the video, which is one of the options I selected within within my custom recovery to fix the issue that I had or at least I feel is what fixed it. Let me send you off that way and you can go ahead and click right here. All right, now let's say you have a Verizon Note 3 and you have a and you have SafeStrap installed onto your phone and if you've been following my previous videos, then you probably have ROM slot 1 in SafeStrap used up and you have your stock and you have your stock in the other ROM slots, so you should probably have two ROM slots, which is what I'm running as well. So I've already turned off my phone and booted into recovery. As you can see, I'm already in, uh, in safe strap. What I did is I went to boot options, and I went over to my stock ROM, and I hit activate. And then after that, I went ahead and went home, and then went to reboot, and went to system and then I rebooted into the system, let it boot up as normal, and then I installed Spotify, tried to see if it worked, and it worked. It went onto the login screen and everything. I didn't have an issue. This issue that showed up on the screen did not pop up. So after I was done with that, I went ahead and booted right back into SafeStrap, and I ended up on the home screen again. And then I went over to boot options, and then back to ROM slot one and I activated it okay and then it goes right back and I went ahead and hit the home button and I'm back here now this is where if you have safe strap or clockwork mod or some kind of other custom recovery mod this is where kind of where 
both of those things merge. So usually with Clockwork Mod, unless things have changed recently, you don't have multiple ROM slots as SafeStrap allows you to have. So you only have one. If your options have it in your custom recovery, go ahead and go to the advanced or wherever this option is for you and then try to find something called fixed permissions. As you can see there up top, there's the fixed permissions option right there. So go ahead and select fix, fixed permissions. And for, for us, it's slide and then it goes ahead and automates that process. Uh, for any other recovery, go ahead and select it. Usually it's the power button or the volume down or some other kind of button. So go ahead and find the fixed permissions option and apply that. So once you're done with that, go ahead and hit the home and then go down to reboot and to system. And then it will reboot your phone. And again, if you have any kind of different recovery, just reboot your phone however you have to reboot it with your recovery after you've fixed your permissions. Okay, so there you have it. If you followed this video all the way through, it probably jumped around because of the fact that I tried to do it for a stock a variety of custom recoveries and then my setup. So if you follow the, all the way through, pretty much what I did is since I have SafeStrap recovery, I have two ROM slots, so I technically have two ROMs, my stock and then my hyperdrive ROM, which is my custom ROM. And I went into my stock ROM to verify that Spotify still works in it, and it did. And then I went back to my recovery and selected my custom ROM and activated that and fix my permissions within there. And then after I fixed my permissions, I went ahead and rebooted my phone back to, like normal. And then after that, then I went into my phone, made sure that Spotify and any parent and any parent folders were deleted and then completely fresh installed Spotify uh, through the Google Play Store. I booted up Spotify and it worked. So whatever I did within that process, it could have been me just booting into another ROM and then booting back into my custom ROM. Honestly, I couldn't tell you exactly what it was. It could have been either or, but that's what I did and it is working for me. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my Spotify app. And as you can see, my Spotify is working perfectly now. So no issues. So hopefully this video has been able to help you out with this issue. Uh, I looked through various forums and nothing helped. I just had to go in and try something myself. So hopefully this uh, this sparks something up with this. I'm going to post it in all the forums that I've been through, try to help people out. So I'm going to post this video there. Also, if you found this video informative, be sure to like it. So if anyone else has this issue and they're searching on YouTube, they're able to find it easier. If you have any questions, which I'm sure you might have, make sure to leave a comment down below. I'll try to get to them as soon as possible. And if you could do me a favor, go ahead and share this video so more people can be helped by it and possibly fix the issues that they're having. And last but not least, I have a variety of videos on my YouTube channel showing you tips and tricks for Verizon Note 3 if you have one, various routing methods and firmware flashes and a couple tips and tricks that you can use. I also have a tech series that you could check out too. So I have many videos coming out soon as well regarding the Verizon Note 3 and just general tech help and any other videos that you guys might want to see. So go ahead and subscribe so you see all these videos as soon as they come out. All right, so my name is Serge and I'm glad I could help. Yeah, have a good one.